When you've done the hard thing, a lot of other things seem easier. What do I mean by that? A lot of us have done hard things. It may have been graduating college. It may have been raising a child with special needs. It may have been opening a business and making sure that it was successful. It may have been overcoming divorce or a critical illness or the illness of a family member or the loss of a family member or grape or a million other things. And then you get in a situation where someone makes a statement like, you know, you need to lower your standards and settle or you're going to be alone for the rest of your life and, you know, end your life with cats. And it almost seems ludicrous, laughable when you think of that threat seeming to be very dire to them when compared to things that you've experienced things that were difficult it's not even a flicker on the radar it's not even a a hangnail or a paper cut or an inconvenience it just is a possibility with no fear No worry, no danger, nothing of that attached. And I think the longer that people live, that women live, and the more that they have to overcome and get through, the less these statements resonate. Four years ago, we went through quarantine. And for some of us, that was a situation unlike anything we'd ever been in. We might have been separated from family. We might have lost family and friends. We might have had to be laid off from a job. We might have had, you know, all kinds of things happen during that period of time, but we got through it and here we are. And that was an unprecedented time when a lot of us had to cope with the stress of that situation without our normal ways of releasing tension. Some of us that like to go out and club, we couldn't. We like to hang out with our friends in person, we couldn't. You know, we like to even just go to restaurants, we couldn't. So the things that made life normal, we learned for eight months how to live without them, how to create a different life, a new life, a life that had meaning. And some of us during that time started businesses or went online and found new communities or we just did a lot of different things. But the point is we adapted. So the thing about people that are resilient, people who know themselves We adapt, we change, we come up with alternative scenarios. One door closes, we look for a window. And I think people have always been that way, but I think that within this lifetime, with the unprecedented amount of changes that have happened in technology, in industry, in medicine, in culture, I think that we've had to adapt again and again and again and again and again. And we've learned that things that existed for hundreds of years, if not thousands of years, could be overturned and changed in a day, in a week, in a month. So we've learned about the impermanence of things in a very new way in a way that maybe some of us haven't dealt with before. So relationships sometimes don't seem as permanent to some people when everything in their life has gone up in smoke. 
over the course of a week or a day or a month. You know, till death do us part just doesn't resonate the same. And I'm just saying this because I think that I think that some of the statements that people make haven't caught up with reality. They haven't caught up with the the way people's minds are functioning now and that some people are in a pre-2020 mentality when other people are in a 2024 mentality and those two people are not communicating very well because they're on two totally different wavelengths they're on two totally different viewpoints they see the world in two vastly different ways and so I just thought that I would bring that up you know there's a saying what doesn't kill you makes you stronger that doesn't always prove true but in this particular scenario that I'm talking about it is it is what I'm talking about what doesn't kill you makes you stronger and you adapt and you learn yourself And you dip into the reservoirs of inner strength that you have. And you don't have to rely on what people relied on in the past, whether that's marriage, whether that's family, whether that's a significant other. You don't have to to do that because you've learned how to do without it. Now, I'm not against relationships. I think relationships are incredible. But I also think that For too long, people have settled for any kind of relationship rather than a healthy one. And people have been willing to go through and suffer for a status rather than walk away and be single. But I don't think that's the case anymore. And I think people are saying the quiet part out loud. And I think the threats that used to work don't. And it's because we know too much and we know too much about ourselves and we know too much about the world and we've seen what reality truly is and it's not what we thought it is or what we thought it was. And I think that that knowledge is powerful and that knowledge is transformative and and that's one reason why I post because I want people to have options. I want them to replace limitations with possibilities. You know, I want them to 